Hey everybody and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by BrushEasy. I'm Eric Wallace and today you're going to learn how to create and upload Photoshop patterns. Creating patterns in Photoshop is very similar to creating the brushes that we talked about in our previous tutorial. I'm going to show you two different ways to create a pattern. The first way is just to create a simple shape in the middle of a square canvas. So I created this canvas which is 500 by 500 pixels and I'm just going to fill it with a, a simple background color, maybe some light yellow and again just choose a regular brush and maybe some orange foreground color create a new layer and again like our brushes tutorial I'm just going to use the stick man as our example here draw me my little stick man here and I'll position him in the center of the square okay now that looks like a good pattern for me so I'm going to select the entire canvas by using the marquee and dragging that or using control or command A to select all go up to the edit menu and then select define pattern and then it gives us the option to name the pattern. Again, we're going to call this Stick Man. We'll hit OK. And then our pattern will be found again in our pattern presets right here. And again, to use the pattern, remember, just start again with a blank canvas if we want to. Use the paint bucket and use pattern as its fill. Click on your pattern and then just use the paint bucket and you'll see it'll fill the canvas with the pattern we created. Now remember we can also use an adjustment layer to fill the layer with the pattern as well by going to the adjustment layer icon and choosing pattern we can then select this pattern but we also have the option now to scale the pattern down to see multiple versions of the pattern. You'll have a lot of flexibility with this uh, in scaling up and scaling down the pattern. So this is an example of creating a pattern with an object or shape in the middle. Now what if we want to have an object or shape or picture that continues seamlessly across the entire pattern? The thing to remember when creating a seamless pattern is that the pattern is going to be duplicated on all sides. So the top of the pattern has to match with the bottom of the pattern. The left of the pattern has to match with the right of the pattern for everything to line up properly. So continuing with our stick man, let's try to create a seamless pattern. First I'm going to create a new layer and then go to the marquee selection and choose the elliptical marquee. Hold the shift key down and create a perfect circle. Then I'm going to fill that with the foreground color using the paint bucket. Okay, now that I have my my circle here we're gonna go and turn on some guides and again I'm using a document that's 500 by 500 pixels so I'm going to just drag the guides right to the middle at the 250 line horizontally and vertically so 250 and 250 now we're gonna line this circle up so we see exactly where the center of it is and that looks about right to me Okay, so now that we have our circle perfectly centered, we can draw our little stick man in the middle. Again, I'm just going to use a normal brush and just kind of draw our little stick man here. He's real happy today. Now that we have our stick man completed in the circle, we're going to use the regular marquee tool and select one quarter of the guides that we have, like such, and we're going to go up to edit and hit copy and edit and paste that and we're going to push this all the way to the bottom corner down on the right side and make sure that just touches the edges and you can use uh, the arrow keys to help you nudge that right into place and we're just going to follow the same step for each corner we're going to do edit copy or control C or command C on the Mac and command or control V for paste And again, we're continuing to copy only off of our main layer here. And we're just going to put those in each corner. One more to go. Now, 
Now, you get the idea that the pattern is going to have our stick man in the middle and then continue seamlessly on all the corners. So when the image uh, is duplicated on each side, everything should line up and we should get a seamless pattern. I'm going to turn off the guides by just holding the command or control key down and dragging them back off into the ruler. And then going up to the marquee tool, selecting the entire square that we have, or using Control or Command A for select all. Go to edit, and again hit define pattern. And we're going to call this stickman2. And we'll hit OK. OK, now that we've got all that, I'm just going to go and select all of these layers and delete these so we can take a look and see how our pattern worked for us. And again, I'm going to click on the adjustment layer icon and click on pattern so that we can play with the scale here. And let's see how this worked. We're going to scale this down and we'll get an idea here if this worked for us or not. And it looks like it did a great job. You can see that the pattern is very close together. They seamlessly connect to one another and you can have a pattern that's very small or very large depending again on how large you originally made the pattern size. So this pattern looks like a success. Now, it's time to export both of our patterns so we can upload them to Brush Easy. So, I'm going to click again on the paint bucket tool and choose the pattern option. Click on the preset menu and you can see here my pattern selection, my preset icons are a little bit larger. Uh, there's a tip if you click on this right arrow and choose large thumbnails instead of small thumbnails, you can get this larger preview so you can really see exactly what patterns and textures you're working with. But we're going to click back on that arrow and go to our preset manager just like we did with the brushes. When the preset manager is up, we're going to select the patterns we want to export by clicking and holding shift to select multiple patterns, then going over and clicking save set. And we'll give this set a title, I'll call it uh, Stickmen, and we'll click save. To upload your patterns, we're going to go to brushizi.com and click on the submit tab. Remember, Brushizi only chooses the best patterns from the original authors to make it on the site, so it's important that you fill out the submission form entirely and have your preview images ready before you fill out the form. Remember, you'll need a 300 by 220 pixel thumbnail image and a high resolution preview. If you're not sure what these images should look like, just look at what other people are doing on the site. After you have your preview images ready and your pattern files zipped, it's time to fill out the entire submission form. Don't forget to select that you're uploading a pattern and not a brush. Each and every uploaded pattern goes through a review process to make sure it meets BrushEasy's qualifications before it makes it on the site. And there you have it. Now you know how to create and upload Photoshop patterns. I'm Eric Wallace, and until next time, take it easy.